Welcome to this presentation on bin tracking for Sage 300. My name is Natalie from Orchid Systems. Bin tracking is one of Orchid's modules tightly integrated in the operations and inventory management processes and it's designed to track inventory items accurately across multiple bins within Sage 300. First, you need bin tracking. Do you need to track individual items against multiple bins within a Sage 300 inventory control location without implementing a full-blown warehouse management systems? How does it impact your customers when you can't locate an item to fulfill their order because you've lost track of exactly where all your inventory is? And rather than having to purchase, learn, maintain and reconcile a completely separate warehouse management system just to track multiple bins, would you like it would you like to do it from within Sage 300 while also supporting the use of handheld barcode scanners? If you're answering yes to any of these questions, then most likely you need bin tracking. So bin tracking lets you track inventory across multiple bins within Sage 300. It increases your warehouse efficiency because the staff know exactly where to store and find any item. There are lots of configurable options in bin tracking to optimize the pick and the put away. And all stock movements are tracked by bin transfer documents, so you have a full audit trail. Bin tracking supports handheld scanning devices through integration with third-party modules. All bin information is stored in Sage 300, so you don't need a separate system just to track multiple bins and you don't need to reconcile your multiple databases. So typically this then generates faster turnaround because uh, you have, uh, and therefore reducing uh, handling costs, you have more accurate inventory records and um, your customers are more satisfied because you can uh, ship faster and have fewer rejected orders. So bin tracking can be used for your transactions, your uh, PO receipt, your OE shipments. We will look at various bin tracking uh, setup configuration for that. And you can also use bin tracking uh, as part of your uh, stock take. So this is an area we will not look at in detail today. There are separate presentations for this on the ORCID website. So we'll start with uh, steps to get going with bin tracking, which options to configure, defining various rules in your um, bin um, in your bin tracking uh, setup. Uh, then we'll look at various ways to use bin tracking with Sage 300 core modules such as OE, IC and PO using the standard Sage 300 screens. We will also look at a demonstration using Auto Simply barcode. Uh, there are a number of third-party modules that support scanning bins, but we will show this one example here. And after the barcode, we will look at using bin tracking with Auto Simply Manufacturing, with ORCID Return Material Authorization, Technisoft Service Manager, Project and Job Costing, and other custom screens. So for the first part of the presentation, I'm going to hand over to Anne to do the bin tracking quick start. Thanks, Natalie. In this quick start bin tracking video, we're going to configure our options, create the bins, and then take our stock on. And we're going to discuss the two different methods that you can use to take your stock on. If you have this option in IC turned on to delete the history during posting, it is advised you turn this off as bin tracking maintains its history from the IC history. To turn it off, go to IC Setup Options and deselect this option. Prompt to delete during posting. For the bin tracking setup, you need to configure your options, assign optional fields that you want to use at the bins, bin transfer header or bin transfer detail level, create your bins, and then in admin services, assign your security groups for bin tracking. There are also visual process flows if you want to use the bin tracking visual process flows. A visual process flow for the stock take and a visual process flow for recording transactions. 
in the options for each of the IC, OE and PO transactions that create a stock movement, you need to configure the way you want the bin transfer document to work. In this case, for your IC receipt, do you want the bin transfer document to be automatically created during posting of the IC receipt or only created automatically if there are items with bins on the IC receipt or will it be created manually? And then you need to say for this particular document, do you want the status to be not ready or do you want it to default to being ready for pick and put away? The status defines the color red or orange on the pick status screen. This is an IC receipt, so it's a put away. How do you want the bin to be allocated? Manually? Or do you want it to be auto put away? or auto put away and the document automatically completed. And if you are doing auto put away, what are the rules? Is it the last bin you picked from, the last bin put away to, or the bin setup order, one, two, three, four, five, where one would be preferred to two, three, four, five. And when you're recording and posting the source transaction, do you want the bin transfer document to pop up automatically? Yes or no? And do you want the document to be auto completed? Yes or no? And if there are non stock items on your source transaction, do you want them on the bin transfer? Yes or no? And normally you'd set all your put away type records the same and your shipment or pick type records the same. And just as we could set the rules for the put away, we can set the rules for the pick type documents auto pick or manual or auto pick and complete and if you are auto picking what is the basis for the auto picking based on your most recent put away or your least recent put away or your bin setup pick order one two three four where one would be preferred to two three or four do you want the bin transfer document to pop up when you are posting the document the source document and do you want it to auto complete where if all the bins are filled in? And normally you would have the same rules for all your pick documents. So the IC shipment, OE shipment, assembly for the raw materials, they're picked. And the same rules for your putaways, IC receipts, PO receipts, and your assemblies for to put away the finished goods. On the processing tab, you define your document length, whether or not you allow negative quantities, whether or not you allow the bin transfer document to complete it when the quantities don't match the source document. You can elect to have a filter or a mask for those items which you do or don't want to bin track. So you may want to ignore all promotional materials. And then you go ahead and create your bins. Per IC location, you define whether or not you're going to bin track that location. So we are going to bin track location one, and then you enter your bin codes. The bin number can be up to 10 characters long, have a description. You can define whether it's active or not, a temporary bin or not, whether you allow all items or only the specified items below in that bin. If you are picking by pick order or put away by put away order, you can define what the pick order is and the put away order, whether or not you allow receiving into this bin, picking from this bin, and if you want, you can specify a quick bin code instead of having to key the full bin number and define your optional fields. You can export this example bin code for location one as an example and then use Excel to create the bins all the bins required for all the locations and then import that resulting spreadsheet. We can open up that spreadsheet, turn on bin tracking for locations 1, 2, 3, 4, create all the bin codes for all the locations, location 1, location 2 and so on. 
and then import the bin codes. Location two, three, four, and of course one. We have configured the options and created our bins. Now we need to think about taking on our opening stock balances. And this will be different depending on whether IC has been live for some time and you're now taking on bin tracking or if you're taking on IC and bin tracking at the same time. First we'll look at taking on bin tracking at the same time as IC. Here you would enter the IC transaction for the take on balances. This might be an IC receipt, a PO receipt or an IC adjustment. And when this document is posted in ICPO, bin tracking will automatically create the bin transfer document to support that transaction. It will have all the items on plus all the quantities on and then you can go ahead and enter the bins. Here we're going to create an IC receipt to record our initial stock take on. And when we go ahead and post that receipt, bin tracking will have created a bin transfer document accordingly. And when we open this up, and we can go ahead and fill in the appropriate bin. The reason the bins weren't auto allocated is because I had set to auto allocate our put away bin based on the last uh, bin the item was picked from and we haven't yet picked any items. So the initial put away needs to be manual. And if this quantity is to be put in multiple bins, we can specify multiple bins here. So this might be a quantity of 50. And 50 in bin A01 or 102. When bin tracking recognizes the quantity is fully put away, it suggests you want to complete it, which I can go ahead and say yes and in which case that document will drop off this uh, status screen next time it is refreshed. We have just seen how you can take on your bin count when you are taking on your quantities per item per bin at the same time as you're taking on your quantities per IC location. We did an example looking at an IC receipt. But if your IC is already live and you have balances in your IC, there's two ways you can take on your opening bin stock take. You can either do an IC stock take, bin tracking will generate a workbook automatically to match the stock take. You can enter the quantities per bin and then post the bin reconciliation, which will create a bin transfer to support the increases in your stock levels per bin and then you can just delete the IC workbook because you're not actually going to use that to adjust your IC stock. Or you can create a bin transfer document. Do not link it to any source document in IC OE or PO and just do a put away for all your item quantity slash bins. And this is what I'm going to give you an example of now. There are other videos on our website of doing an IC stock take, so have a look at those if you want to see how that process works. To get my opening stock levels, I'm going to use a template in my location details to export the current stock levels. And then massage these details onto one of the take on sample templates that you'll find in the import templates folder. And I'm going to use this sample template for putaways. 
and you paste your details on this tab here, the transfer details tab. And then go to your bin transfer document and import that file. So this is your take on stock, which is not associated with any source document. And you can complete the document. After taking on the data, in the item and bin inquiry, you will have all your stock levels with the stock quantities per item, per bin, per location. And we've now seen how to take on our stock balances, both at the same time as a source transaction from IC and taking on after IC has been live for some time by importing a bin transfer document that is not associated with any source transaction. Thanks Anne for this detailed presentation on setting up bin tracking, including take on balances. Now let's look at using bin tracking with Sage 300 core modules, namely IC, OE and PO. We will look at using the Sage classic screens as well as an example using AutoSimply barcode. And for this I'm handing over back to Anne. But first we're going to look at using your bin transfer transactions when you're recording purchase orders, order entry or inventory control transactions. Based on your configuration settings, when you post the associated source transaction like a PO receipt or a PO return, order entry credit note, shipment debit note or any of the inventory control transactions, when the source document is posted, the bin transfer document can be automatically created and if you have used a auto pick or auto put away rule, the default bin will be suggested for you. You can then fill in, confirm or change the bin allocation and then post and close the document. These documents can also suggest a bin and automatically close if appropriate. And that is useful, for example, if you always receive your goods into a bulk storage, you can assign the bin bulk and close the documents automatically. And depending on how you set up this pop-up bin transfer when posting the source document flag, the bin transfer document will automatically pop up or will be created and you will access it through the PIX data screen. We're now going to do an OE shipment, which the document will be created, the bins will be allocated, but it won't pop up. And we're going to do a peer receipt, where the document will be created, the bins will be allocated, and the bin transfer will auto pop up. We're first going to look at purchase orders. We have this PO for these three items. But bin tracking will only create a bin transfer document when the PO receipt is created because bin tracking only creates documents for movements in and out of the warehouse and with a purchase order you do not have a movement yet of the stock items. So when we go ahead and create a receipt for that purchase order and receive all in post, it's at this point that bin tracking will create a bin transfer document associated with that receipt number for the items on the receipt and the quantities and depending on your put away method if it can suggest a bin it will suggest a bin for you. So our current put away method is last bin the item was picked from and the the A11030 was last picked from this bin and this item was last picked from this bin. But as we have not yet done a pick for the A11050, it cannot suggest to us a bin. 
and we need to key in or select a bin for it to be put away into. When we save, bin tracking is recognizing that the all the quantities from the source documents have been fully put away and that document is now been completed. And now we're going to have a look at a sample of a pick type document. So the bin transfer document will be created when the shipment document is created, not the order. So whether we ship all and create the shipment from this screen or we go to the shipment screen and link it to the order and create the shipment that way. It's at the point in time that the shipment gets created that bin tracking will create the associated bin transfer document. And if we go ahead, if we want to print the picking slip and we base it on the shipment and we use the bin tracking picking slip from the shipment, the suggested bins will be on the picking slip. The bin transfer does not pop up automatically because our configuration row said no to pop up bin transfer when the shipment is created. But we can access it from the bin tracking transaction screen, the PIC status screen. We can see the latest OE shipment here. And if we double click to open up the bin transfer document, we will see the three items quantities and the suggested bins. And when we go to save, again, it's going to suggest, do you want to complete the document because it's fully picked? If we say yes, the status will go to complete and it will drop off our picking status screen. Next time we refresh. We have now seen the effect of some of the bin tracking setup options when we recorded our PO receipt and our OE shipment and the different effect it had on the auto-generated bin transfer document. We're now going to see how we can use AutoSimply barcode to use bin tracking with these documents. Barcode Operations provides real-time online postings of transactions from handheld computers or tablets in the warehouse. These include purchase orders, purchase returns, order entry shipments and returns, and the various transactions in inventory control, like internal usage, transfers and stock counts, and also stock counts generated by bin tracking. With the barcode module of bin tracking, the associated bins can be scanned or entered on the handheld devices at the same time as the source document is created or updated. And bin tracking can be configured for all the underlying OE, PO and IC transactions that barcode posts. The configuration that can be done is whether or not the bin transfer document gets auto-created whether the bins are auto-allocated based on the allocation rules. The bin transfer screen cannot, however, pop up on the handheld. That configuration can only be done when you're running the source transaction from the Sage 300 desktop. So the configuration that can be done for all the source transactions that Barcode Operations is creating or updating so that's for all the order entry, IC and purchase order transactions. You can automatically create the bin transfer document on posting the source document. The pick and put away method for allocating the bins can be either the bins are manually allocated or they can be allocated based on the picking rules or put away rules. But the pop-up of the bin transfer document can only be done around the Sage 300 screens which are launched from the Sage 300 desktop. We're now going to do a demonstration and I'm assisted by Terence from AutoSimply and we'll demonstrate a few of the supported transactions. We're going to have a look at the PO receipt, OE shipment, IC internal usage, a bin tracking transfer, an IC transfer and a bin tracking stock count. Having a look at the barcode app on a mobile device, first you need to log in, user ID and password and select the Sage 300 company that you want to 
do transactions for. We're first going to do a peer receipt. You can either scan or find or enter the purchase order number. And then you are presented a list of the items on the purchase order number and you can go ahead and start receiving each of those items. Because bin tracking is turned on in this location, you are also prompted to enter a bin for the items. So in this case, we're receiving 8 into bin 501 and 7 into bin 502. And then we'd go ahead and receive in the other items. If the item is lot tracked, as this one is, then not only do you need to enter or scan the bins, but you also need to enter or scan the lot numbers. And the lot numbers can be auto-generated from the handheld too. And for the third item, it is bin tracked as well as serial number tracked. So you need to enter the serial numbers or scan the serial numbers at the same time for each of the quantities that you're keying in. And the serial numbers can be auto-generated using the rules that you set up in IC. Once the items have all been received, you can go ahead and post the peer receipt. Barcode creates the peer receipt and bin tracking will create the bin transfer associated with the peer receipt and barcode operations will fill in the relevant bins, serials and lots into both the peer receipt as well as the associated bin transfer document and as this document had been configured to order complete, it was completed at the time it was created. And now we're going to have a look at an OE shipment. You can either scan or type in or search for the order number that you're going to ship. And once you've selected the relevant order number, you will see the items that are due to be shipped. And then item by item, you would fill in the item number, scan it or key it in and fill in the quantity and specify the bin that you're withdrawing that item from or picking that item from. And if you're shipping items with serials and lots, you need to specify which serial number and which lot number comes from which bin as well. And you can auto allocate the bin based on the lot or the lot based on the bin. And for serialized items you need to select or auto allocate the serial numbers based on the bin. Once all the items have been picked you can go ahead and post the document and auto simply barcode operations will create the shipment and the associated bin transfer document with the correct items and bins allocated. And as this type of document was set to order complete, the document will be completed. Documents can also be created on the handheld devices, in this case an IC internal usage document. And we're going to put three items on this internal usage document. Item A11030 coming from bins 501 and 502 and then the A1900G where we're going to allocate the lot numbers and the serial numbers for A900B. And once the document is complete then you can post the document and barcode operations creates the IC internal usage document and the associated bin transfer document is updated with the items, quantities and relevant bins.
And you can also create a bin transfer document from the handheld. So a bin transfer is a movement from one bin to another bin. It has no impact on the IC quantities at all. Once you had specified the location, you would then specify the item, the from bin and the to bin. And if the item is serial or lot tracked, you need to specify the lot numbers or serial numbers at the same time. And once you've selected all the items and the associated serials and lots, you can go ahead and post that particular transaction. And with the bin transfer document, barcode operations creates the bin transfer document and fills in the associated bins for the items. And these bin transfers are not associated with any source document. In a similar way, you can do an IC transfer. You specify the from location and the to location. And then you fill in the items which bins you're picking the items from the from location and then you specify the two bins so which bins and the associated quantities that you're putting the items away to in the two location and you do this for as many items as you need to do in the IC transfer and if the items have associated serials or lots you need to pick it from the from bin and put it away into the to bin. And when the document is complete and you go ahead and post, then Barcode Operations creates an IC transfer with an associated bin transfer document when the document is posted on the handheld. And Barcode Operations completes the relevant bins on the associated bin transfer document. We've looked at using bin tracking with Sage 300 core modules, including with AutoSimply Barcode. Now we're going to look at using bin tracking and AutoSimply Manufacturing. AutoSimply Manufacturing has a number of operations which in turn create IC movements. You have manufacturing orders, Kanban, and MO entries, MO backflush entries, which create IC shipments or IC adjustments depending on the type of transaction. Manufacturing issuances by order, by product, etc., which create IC shipments or IC adjustments. And you have MF returns and MF receipts, which create IC adjustments. Bin tracking can be configured for all the manufacturing processes and the underlying IC transactions that MO creates. The configuration that can be done is whether or not the bin transfer document is manually created or auto-created by the underlying transaction or screen, whether or not the bins are auto-allocated or manually allocated, and when auto-allocating, you can define the allocation rules and whether or not to auto open the bin transfer screen for configured MO screens which are run from the Sage 300 desktop. When bin tracking and manufacturing are activated in the same company database, the auto simply screen entries are automatically added into the picking method tab of the BT options. And then per MO screen, you can configure whether or not the bin transfer document is automatically created when the source transaction is posted and whether or not the bins are allocated automatically either the pick method based on the pick method rules or the put away method based on the put away method rules when the transaction is created. And you can also pop up the bin transfer when posting. So when the manufacturing screen is open and you post the underlying source transaction, the bin transfer document will automatically pop up. But when you are creating or updating the manufacturing transactions using barcode manufacturing, then the underlying IC shipment and IC adjustment transactions that manufacturing creates will be the documents that you need to configure for the bin tracking automations. And now Terence from AutoSimply is going to assist with a demonstration of a manufacturing issuance using the Sage 300 desktop. 
If you have both bin tracking and manufacturing activated in the same company, in the bin tracking setup options on the picking method tab, all the auto simply manufacturing screens will be inserted so you can do the configuration for the create bin transfer, the bin allocation rules for both the pick and the put away and the pop-up bin transfer for the source screen. And once the configuration has been done for all the transactions, when you go ahead and create or update a manufacturing transactions, in this case we're going to do an issuance for the manufacturing order number 7. And when the quantities are updated and the document is posted, Bin tracking will create the associated bin transfer based on the rules that you specified and in this case we specified to auto pick and to automatically pop up the associated bin transfer. The bins can always be changed if needs be and when the document is saved it will be auto completed if it's fully picked or put away. And similarly, all the other manufacturing transactions can be configured to integrate with bin tracking. For more information on AutoSimply manufacturing, please refer to AutoSimply's website. We're now going to look at using bin tracking with ORCID Return Material Authorizations, RMA, which helps you manage customer and vendor returns in Sage 300. Does RMA integrate with bin tracking? And in this video, I'm going to show you how RMA integrates with bin tracking. Return material authorizations does not itself create any stock movements, but from an RMA document, you can create an OE credit note. And if the return to stock is set to yes for the OE credit note items, then the OE credit note will create a stock movement into the IC location. RMA can also create a peer return, which in turn creates a stock movement for the items out of the IC location. Bin tracking can be configured for both of these documents being created from the RMA screen, that is the OE credit note and the peer return. The configuration that can be done is whether or not the bin transfer document needs to be manually created or auto-created at the time of the source document being posted, whether or not the bins are auto-allocated or manually allocated at the time the bin transfer document is created, and whether or not to auto-pop up or open the bin transfer document screen so the users posting the source document can complete the bin transfer at the same time. In bin tracking, for both the RMA credit note button and the RMA peer return button, you can configure whether or not the bin transfer document is automatically created during posting of the peer return and the OE credit note, or if it's going to be manually created. The second configuration you can do for the pick method is whether it's going to be auto-picked or auto put away depending whether you're doing the peer return or the credit note and if you are auto picking and auto putting away what method are you using most recent least recent or based on the bin setup order and the third piece of configuration you can do whether or not to pop up the bin transfer document when posting the source document so in my case, I'm going to demonstrate for both the peer return and the OE credit note, the documents are automatically created during posting. The bins are going to be automatically allocated based on the least recent put away for the pick method and the last bin pick from for the put away method. And the bin transfer document is going to automatically pop up when I have the RMA screen open when I click the create credit note or create peer return. In bin tracking setup options, if you have both bin tracking and RMA activated in the same company database, 
you will automatically get the RMA peer return row and the RMA OE credit note row for you to do your configuration. And in my case, I'm automatically creating the associated bin transfer document during posting for both the documents. For the peer return, I'm auto picking based on the most recent put away. And for the credit note, I am auto putting away into the last bin pick from. And in both cases, the bin transfer screen is going to pop up when I post the credit note and the purchase return. When you have a completed RMA, then you have the option to generate the credit note, generate the replacement order and generate the purchase return. And checking the details on the RMA item lines, if you have tick to put the item on the credit note and put the item on the vendor return and for the credit note if the item is being returned to inventory then bin tracking will create a bin transfer document for you to match the credit note and vendor return where the bins can be allocated to the document. When we go ahead and generate the credit note RMA is creating a credit note and bin tracking is automatically creating the bin transfer document for that credit note and popping it up on the screen. So we can see that credit note 12 was created and BT53 was created for credit note 12 with the two items quantities 5 and 10 and the bins have been allocated according to our rules and the quantity fully put away. And when we save the document, it will suggest to complete the document as it is fully put away. And when we create the purchase return, again the bin transfer document will be automatically created for us and popped up on the screen with the suggested bin based on our most recent put away which is the credit note. When we click Save it will suggest to complete this document. And on the detail rows we can see the credit note and purchase return that both the items went on to. Thanks Anne. Next we're going to look at pin tracking in Technisoft Service Manager. Does Technisoft Service Manager integrate with bin tracking? Service Manager creates IC inventory movements when posting invoices, credit notes or cost-only entries. When both Service Manager and bin tracking are active in the same company database, Service Manager inserts the necessary configuration rows in the BT Setup Options Picking Method tab, and this allows you to configure bin tracking accordingly. Please note that Technisoft only supports these bin tracking documents when posting from the desktop in document entry. The bin tracking documents are not supported in Technisoft's add-ons like field portal or batch posting functions like multipost or posting schedules. The configuration you can do for Technisoft's documents is whether or not the bin transfer document gets automatically created and if you are auto creating the bin transfer document, are the bins going to be automatically allocated based on the pick or put away rules? And also whether or not you want the bin transfer document to auto pop up when the underlying service manager document is posted. So in the picking method tab, Service Manager inserts the entry for invoicing, credit note and cost only into the picking method list of transactions. And then per document you can configure whether or not you create the bin transfer automatically during posting the source document. 
and you can configure per document whether the bins are auto allocated for the pick and put away and the method on which the auto allocation is done and finally whether or not you want the bin transfer screen to automatically pop up when the source document is posted. And I'm now going to create a service manager item invoice to demonstrate the bin tracking integration. When using document entry, if you add an item to the job, either as a cost only or as an invoicing item, and go ahead and post the underlying transaction, service manager will automatically create a bin transfer document for the item or items that have been issued to the job. And when the bin transfer document opens, if you've configured the bin transfer document to open, you'll be able to verify the bins that have been used if you are using auto picking, or you're able to specify the bins to use if you are using manual bin allocation. And when you save the document, bin transfer will complete the document automatically if the document is fully picked. And the bin transfer document that has been created is linked to the service manager invoice, invoice 40. So all the stock movements generated by document entry and service manager can be configured to work with bin tracking in a similar way. And you can refer to the Technisoft website for details on service manager. Finally, we're going to look at using bin tracking with project and job costing, PJC, and custom screens. Does PJC, or your own custom screens, integrate with bin tracking? PJC transactions create IC transactions for the associated stock movements, like material usage or material returns. You can configure custom screens, like PJC screens, or your own custom screens, any screen that creates a associated IC transaction can be configured for bin tracking. In bin tracking, you can configure such that bin tracking recognizes the custom screen is running and for that screen, you can configure is the bin transfer document auto-created or manually created and if you're auto-creating, do you want to auto allocate the bins and the rules under which you're going to allocate the pick or put away bins and whether or not you want the screen to auto pop up when the document entry posts and the stock movement is created. In this example I'm going to use a PJC screen. PJC material usage creates an IC shipment and the Roto ID or Screen ID is PM2040. If you create yourself a UI file in the bin tracking programs directory, you can call it whatever you want, and in that file you have the entries for the screens that you want to configure for bin tracking. So in this case you configure the module ID, PM, the version, 70A, the screen ID or Roto ID, PM2040, a description that is going to appear in the bin tracking options on the pick method tab. And then IC shipment is the type of IC document that gets created. In this case, an IC shipment, but it could be an IC adjustment or an IC receipt. And if you have this UI file in your programs directory, your bin tracking programs directory, when bin tracking starts, it will find any UI files in the programs directory and add the entries that are needed into the picking method tab. So in this case, we've got the PJC material usage, which creates an IC shipment. And we've configured it to automatically create the bin transfer during posting the status is going to be ready for pick or put away and the auto pick method is going to be based on our least recent put away. So first in, first out. And we're going to auto pop up the bin transfer screen when the IC shipment is created from the material usage screen. 
and this is documented in this knowledge base article. And you can see how to configure either your own custom screen for the module MY for example or the PJC example that I'm demonstrating now. Having a look at this in Sage 300 in my company Orc LTD. First, looking at the bin tracking programs directory, I have put a text file in there called pjc.ui. And when I open that up, you can see it's configured for the PM module version 70A, the Roto ID or Screen ID PM2040, the description of the screen, and the type of IC transaction that gets created. This can be IC shipment, IC adjustment, or IC receipt. And looking in PJC, in our PJC transactions, the material usage screen or the Roto ID is PM2040. And that is why our configuration row is working for PM2040. When bin tracking started in this company, it first looked to see if there was any UI files in the programs directory. And because it found the PJC UI with this entry, it has added PJC material usage for IC shipment into the picking method tab. And here we can configure how we want bin tracking to work for the screen. We want the bin transfer to be created automatically during posting. The status should be ready for pick or put away. And this is a pick, so we're going to configure it to auto pick based on our least recent put away. So that is first in, first out. And we do not want the screen to auto pop up when we post in PJC. Having done that, now we could go ahead and do our PJC transaction. And we're going to create a material usage record for our project 1002 and issue three of these. When the document posts, bin tracking will pick up the configuration row for PM 020 and create an associated bin transfer document accordingly. We will see this on the PIC status screen as it was configured not to auto pop up around the PJC transaction. The picking status screen shows all incomplete transactions. We can double click to open up the IC shipment that was created by the material usage or double click to open up the bin transfer document. And from here, we can see the items to be picked. Bin tracking has used the auto allocation method of least recent put away and allocated the particular bins. And when we save the document, it will be set to complete because it's fully picked. And now that bin transfer, because it's no longer open, drops off the picking status screen. And by creating a UI file in the bin tracking programs directory, you can add any screen that creates an IC, OE or PO stock movement. And you can configure bin tracking to create the associated transaction and for the bins to be allocated according to your rules. We have looked at using bin tracking with a range of Sage 300 core screens, third-party modules and your custom screens. So before we uh, open up for uh, questions, we'll point you to a bunch of resources that are relevant to get started and use bin tracking. So first, the bin tracking online help, which includes training videos and uh, links to various topics that are uh, commonly used. We have not covered stock take in this particular uh, presentation. We've only discussed ways to do your uh, take on. You can uh, view 
the different methods to do your stock take in the online help and also it's also included in the bin tracking uh, training videos. We have put together a, a knowledge base article with bin tracking uh, FAQs. So bin tracking um, commonly ask questions, commonly support questions about visual flow, does bin tracking support serial number, lot tracking, optional fields, can you print picking slips with bin uh, details, can you set up some bins to receive and others to, um, to receive only and others to pick only, how can you view incomplete documents using the pick status uh, screen, can you um, do the bin transfer from one bin to another? Does bin tracking support item number change? So I'll encourage you to uh, have a look at this knowledge base uh, article. For more information on bin tracking, you can refer to the ORCID website, which has links to some of the other um, demo and uh, training videos as well. Thank you very much for your time, and uh, we are now open for questions.